praise the name of God. So that it will be able to direct us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of God. The Lord is good. And he has a good plan for each and every one of us. I do not know what the enemy has been preaching to your thoughts. But I want you to know that Jesus has a good plan upon your life. Praise the name of God. And that plan has not yet been defeated. Praise the name of God. That plan is still ongoing. And whatever God spoke to your life, whether when you are getting born again or along the way, he still has the capacity and the ability to make it happen. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the only thing you need to contend with is delay. Praise the name of God. But whatever God has decided that it will happen is going to happen. Praise the name of God. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last time we were here, I think it was last Sunday, but one. We were talking about that Jesus Christ is coming. Praise the name of God. And we looked at Revelations 22 verse 7. Sorry, I usually run a lot towards the word and I forget to do some protocols. You can, say hi, you can say hi to the people. Amen. 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 And I'm married to one wife. Hallelujah. Amen. You see the beauty of me telling him to say hi. Now I know what to say. Praise the name of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That confirms to you that uh, there is wisdom in keeping quiet. Praise the name of God. Amina. Because if I had gone forward, maybe I would not have said that. Then I might have looked bad. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amina. So we were talking about the topic that Jesus is Jesus Christ is coming. And we were looking at the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 7. The Bible says, Behold, I am coming soon. And we say there is an importance of the Christian man. Praise the name of God. To live in that realization that Jesus is coming. Because if you forget that Jesus is coming, you might continue doing church things and spiritual things without going anywhere. Praise the name of God. And the, the Bible was telling us in the book of Amos that continue giving sacrifices and continue sinning in the kingdom. Praise the name of God. Sinning, thambi. The Bible says go to Gilgal and go to Bethel and continue sinning there. So there is a state that the Christian man can get to and he becomes a total Christian who knows how to do godly things with no relationship with Jesus. Praise the name of God. And when Jesus comes and finds you like that, you are going to hell. Praise the name of God. Even though you are telling people you are born again. Because the Bible in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 the Bible says that the Lord knows those who are his. Hallelujah. So Jesus is coming. Yes, you are. But we must be prepared to meet him. 
kukutana naye praise the name of god you cannot live your life carelessly hawezi ishi maisha ya utu ya without an expectation bila kutalanjia that jesus is coming kwamba yesu yuaje praise the name of god because that expectation will help you to be prepared maana hiyo tarajio inakusaidia uweze kujiandaa and today it is a continuation of the same one na leo tunaendelea na neno lile tu praise the name of god kwamba tukuzo and we are going to read a, a, a lot of scripture tutasoma maandiko kwa wingi it's more of a teaching zaidi ya mafunzo ni mafunzo so it might not be an a very evangelical message for you inaweza kuwa sio injili ya uinjilisti kwako it might not have a lot of shouting inaweza kuwa ina kupa sauti kwa wingi but there is need to do a lot of writing lakini kutakuwa na kuandika sana praise the name of god tunabona tukuzo and the message is the dwelling Unjumbi ni kuka the dwelling kundum praise the name of god and i want us to start from the book of psalms 91 tusome katika kitabu cha zaburi 91 my brother you can read verse 1 verse 2 verse 3 zaburi 91 aya ya kwanza aketie mahali pasili pake aliye juu atakaa katika ufuli wake mwenyezi nitasema bwana ndiye kimbilio langu na ngome yangu mungu wangu nitakaye mtumaini you can go up to verse 3 maana yeye atakuokoa na mtego wa mhitaji na katika tauni iaribuyo go to verse 7 aya saba injapo watu elfu waanguka ubavuni pako naam kumi elfu mkono wako wa kuume hata hivyo hautakukaribia wewe read verse 9 kwa kuwa wewe bwana ndiye kimbilio langu umemfanya aliye njuu kuwa makao yako verse 16 kwa siku nyingi itamshibisha nami nitamuonyesha wokovu wangu praise the name of god when i was reading this psalm nilipokuwa nasoma saburi hii God was teaching me about staying in his dwelling. Mungu alikuwa ananifunza kundumu katika uwepo wake. Praise the name of God. And the Bible is talking or David was saying that whoever dwells Biblia ama Daudi alikuwa anasema hivi kwamba yote ambao na ndumu whoever yani makao dwelling is makao. Praise the name of God that those who live in the shelter of the most high anayefanya mungu kuwa makao ama maskani yake will rest in the shadow of the almighty ataka katika ufuli wa mungu aliye mkuu atapumzika hallelujah that them that dwell wale ambao wanafanya mungu kuwa maskani yao hallelujah they will rest in the shadow of the almighty watapumzika katika ufuli wa mkuu praise the name of god the bible continues to give promises to people of god biblia inaendelea kupeana ahadi kwa watu wa mungu about dwelling in the shadow of the almighty kundumu ama kufanya makao katika ufuli wa mungu aliye mkuu and there are fruits that we are seeing in dwelling na kuna vitu ambavyo tunaona katika kundumu ama makao praise the name of god we are seeing there is protection tunaona ya kwamba kuna ulinzi praise the name of god we are seeing there is provision tunaona ya kwamba kuna upeana there is healing kuna uponaji praise the name of god there is even a long life in dwelling kunao maisha marefu katika kukaa ama kufanya makao praise the name of god and god was teaching me na mungu alikuwa ananifunza the problem is not with the promise shida sio kwa yule aliyeahidi the problem is with the dwelling shida ni kwa kukaa hallelujah and i was being challenged in my spirit nilikuwa natiko changamoto ndani ya moyo wangu that there is no promise on that sum hakuna ahadi katika hii zaburi that i can claim ambapo naweza nikandai if i am not dwelling kama sijafanya kuwa makao praise the name of god jabani tukuze i cannot go declaring siwezi nikaenda nikitangaza that a thousand will fall on my side elfu tanguka katika mkono wangu 
thousand on my side if I am not dwelling praise the name of God if I am a day scholar when I leave the presence I have no claim to the promise hallelujah and that is why we are finding most of us in the fall as near tumeza kuanguka ama tukaingia katika shida tuko kwa mtego haleluya yet the bible says he will protect you na bila sema kwamba atakulinda praise the name of god that is why we are finding ourselves tunajipata ndani yetu with pestilence tuna hatuna pumziko haleluya because we have left the dwelling maana tumeondoka katika uwepo and we are asking ourselves hatunyanjuliza wenyewe why are the born again people sick kwa nini watu wangonjwa wakofu wa, wa wanangojeka praise the name of god ya bwana itukuzwe why are these promises that god has promised kuziko wapi ahadi ya mungu ameahidi hallelujah ja, and i came to realize the problem is the dwelling nimekuja kutambua kwamba shida ni makao hallelujah because the verse starts with he that dwells maana ni wale ambao wanakaa wale makao you cannot claim this promise if you are not dwelling hauwezi ukandai ahadi kama wewe unafanya kuwa makao there is no claiming in prayer if you are not dwelling hakuna kundai kwa maombi kama haukai if you are not dwelling and you claim kama undumu na unakindai you have no spiritual authority hauna mamlaka ya kiroho to claim anything kuweza kudai chochote praise the name of Jabana god tukusu. and that is why we are living defeated lives na ndiye tunaishi maisha ya kushindwa because the bible says he that dwells maana bila sema kwamba yeye na kuwa abanya makao is the one who will say of the lord ndiye ataweza kusema kwa mwangu hallelujah so it is not everybody who says of the lord sio kila mtu anayesema kwa mungu it is he that dwells ni yeye anayefanya makao praise the name of god bwana itukuzwe hallelujah hallelujah ask your neighbor are you dwelling uliza jirani yako je umefanya maskani are you dwelling umefanya maskani yako praise the name of god jirani bwana itukuzwe because if you are not dwelling maana kama hujafanya maskani there is nothing you have to claim hakuna chochote ambao unastahili kundai hallelujah hallelujah and there are few things that happen in the dwelling na kuna vitu kadhaa ambavyo zinatendeka katika makao and as i was looking at this nilipokuwa natazama hizi mambo the holy spirit roho mungu was quickening my heart alikuwa natia changamoto ndani ya moyo wangu that that dwelling is jesus hiyo kukaa ama kuishi ni yesu praise the name of god hallelujah if you read verse 7 again ukisoma aya ya 7 tena if you can read for me verse 7 ijapo watu elfu waanguke umpafuni pako na mkumi elfu mkono wako wa kuume hata hivyo hautakukaribia wewe preservation kuivadhiwa praise the name of god that when we dwell tukifanya makao there is preservation kuna kuivadhiwa something will come kitu kitakuja that will kill your neighbors ambao kitaua majirani that will kill the finances of your people kitaua kifedha ya watu wako the country may go through seasons of despair shida inaweza inji inaweza pita katika shida za kukosa tumaini your core businessmen wale ambao wanafanya kazi biashara pamoja they might find the economy is going down wanapata uchumi unaenda chini they might even start closing their shop yes kufunga nduka zao people will start losing jobs watu wataanza kupoteza kazi praise the name of god because that is now a season that has come maana hiyo ni manjira ambayo imekuja but the that dwells in the shelter of the most high lakini ambao wanafanya makao yake kwa mungu aliye juu there will be preservation kutakuwa na kuhifadhi praise the name of god so a thousand businesses can fall basi maelfu ya biashara zaweza kaanguka 10000 can fall maelfu 10 zinaweza kaanguka the economy of kenya can be uchumi wa Kenya unaweza kaangamia but he that dwells in the shelter of the most high lakini aliyefanya makao yako ndani ya Mungu ni preservation utakuwa na kuhifadhiwa praise the name of god ya bwana itukuzwe hallelujah hallelujah but you cannot claim that unless you are dwelling lakini hauwezi ukandai hiyo kama ufanya makao yako let me teach you something about preservation wacha nikupuze kitu kuhusu kuhifadhiwa and why jesus is important in the preservation kwa sababu yesu ni wa maana katika ile kuhifadhiwa i almost call jesus the eternal preservative karibu ni mwite yesu ile ifadhi ya ndani praise the name of god you know the way we use preservatives in 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 in, 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 in chemistry 
kama vile tunatumia mambo ya kuhifadhi katika chemistry like the sodas you have have preservatives kama soda hizi uko napata kwamba kuna vitu za kuifanya ikae even the canned foods we, we use they have preservatives hata zile vitu ambazo tunatumia zote zinakuwa na vitu za kuhifadhi but the interesting thing about those preservatives lakini akupendeza katika hizo vitu za kuhifadhi ni they still write an expiry date wanaandika tu wakati wa kuexpire praise the name of god which means these preservatives are not eternal kumaanisha kwamba hizi kwa Yesu kuhifadhi sio za milele but there is a preservative that has been given from heaven kuna kifadhi cha kutoka mbinguni that is from the beginning and to the end ambacho ni mwanzo na mwisho that if you dwell inside him ukikaa ndani yake there is no expiry date to the places that you can go hakuna wakati wa kuexpire kwa wale mambo ambao utafika praise the name of god and the promises that he has declared upon your life na hadi ambao umetangaza njua imesha there is no expiry date hakuna wakati wa kufika mwisho praise the name of god so if he says that he will protect you from the fallers near akisema kwamba atakuokoa kutoka mitego ya it is from the time that you are created wakati ambao uliumbwa to the time that you are living wakati ambao utaondoka and when you go to the grave ukienda katika he will be with you atakuwa pamoja na Because he has said he will not let his righteous one see decay. Maana amesema kwamba ataacha watakatifu wake wangamia. He will be with you. Atakuwa pamoja na wewe. And when the world is folded up, wakati wa ulimwengu wote umekunyika. He will deliver you before God. Atakuokoa atakuleta mbele zake Mungu. For the gift of eternal life. Ni kwa ajili ya pao za milele. Praise the name of God. You know he was with Daniel. Ulikuwa alikuwa na Danieli. And when Daniel is finishing his writing, wakati Daniel amalizia kuandika kwake. He tells Daniel. Anamwambia Danieli. That you Daniel go your way. Wenda ah. kitenda You are going to rest for a time. Utaenda kukaa kwa muda. But when the time comes, utakufikia. You will rise again. Utaamka tena. Praise the name of God. Tukuzwe. Ha, it is an eternal preservation. Ni kuhifadhiwa kwa milele. That if I am hidden in Jesus. Kama nimejivuta ndani ya Yesu. I am not only confident of this life. Sio kwa nini maisha yangu. I am even confident in death. Nina uhakika wa ndani yangu. I am even confident when he comes. Unaje zile wakati atakuja. That I shall be together with him. Kama nitakuwa pamoja naye. Praise the name of God. Tukuzwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you hidden in Jesus? Je, umejivuta ndani ya Yesu? Have you made your dwelling in Jesus? Umejifanya makao yako ndani ya Yesu? Exodus chapter to 16 kutoka 16 let me expound a bit on preservation wacha nieleze zaidi kuhusu kuhifadhi verse 32 to 35 you can read my brother kutoka 32 kutoka 32 yes wacha tusome 32 aya ya kwanza bwana kanena na musa haya Ondokeni Exodus 16 32 16 yes Exodus Sorry. 16 kutoka 16 yes verse 32 aya 32 usome aya 32 Biblia inasema hivi samani Musa akasema ili ni neno Bwana aliloliamuru pishi moja ya kitu hicho na kiwekwe kwa ajili ya vizazi vyenu ili kwamba wao wapate kukiona kile chakula nilicho walisha nyinyi barani hapo nilipowaleta kutoka inji ya misili aya 33 go to that up to 35 basi Musa akamwambia Haruni toa kopo ukatie pishi moja ya hiyo maana ndani yake uiweke mbele ya Bwana ili, ilindwe kwa ajili ya vizazi vyenu kama vile bwana alivyomwangizia Musa vipi aluli alivyoiweka hapo mbele ya ushahidi ili ilindwe na wana wa Israeli walikula mana munda wa miaka arobaini hata walipofikilia walipofikilia inchi hiyo iliyo na watu wakala ile mana hata walipofikilia mipakani walipofikilia mipakani mwa inchi ya Kanaani haleluya hebrews chapter 9 verse 4 Hebrews chapter 9 verse 4 nataka tuandike wa Hebrania 9 mstari wa 4 And please if you see your neighbor sleeping I've given you permission kumwamsha ukiona jirani yako ana anasinzia tafadhali nakupa ruhusa umwamshe kwa upole Why thank God he has allowed the cold to be there so that you cannot sleep Ashukuru Mungu ameruhusu mbaridi ingie ili usiweze kulala. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 4. Hebrewia 9 aya ya 4. Tusomee. Yenye chetezo cha dhahabu na sandaka la angano lilofunikiwa 
kwa dhahabu pande zote mlimokuwa na kopo la dhahabu lenye ila mana na ile fimbo ya Haruni iliyochipuka ilio na vile vipao vya angano haleluya praise the name of god jabwani tukuzo revelations 2:17 uvunuo mbili aya 10 na na saba Revelations 2:17 Ufunuo mbili aya 17 Yeye aliye na sikio na alisikia neno hili ambalo roho ayaambia makanisa Yeye ashindaye nitampa baadhi ya ile mana iliyofichwa nami nitampa njiwe njeupe na juu ya njiwe hilo limeandikwa njina njipya asilo linjua mtu ila yeye anayipokea Praise the name of God Now I want you to take you slowly from Exodus. Nakatuende pole pole kutoka kutoka because this is the preservation in the dwelling. Maana hii ni mifadhio katika makao. Praise the name of God. So God tells Moses, Mungu anamwambia Musa, I have given you manna. Nimekupa manna. And this manna was only supposed to last for one day. Na hii manna ilikuwa ikae kwa siku tu. Praise the name of God. If they kept the manna for more than a day, wangeweka ile manna zaidi ya siku moja, the next morning the manna would be rotten. Siku hiyo ingine manna ingeoza. Praise the name of God. And whatever is written in the Bible, chochote ambacho kimeandikwa katika Biblia is the revelation of Jesus. Nufunua Yesu. Praise the name of God. Everything in the Bible to- points towards Jesus. Chochote ambacho kimeandikwa katika Biblia kinamuonyesha Yesu. So even in the giving of the manna, hata katika kutoa ama kupeana kwa manna, was not just in vain. Haikuwa tumbure. God had the ability to make maize grow and even pumpkins to grow in the desert. Mungu alikuwa na uwezo wa kufanya malenge hata mahindi kukua katika njangwa. He even had the ability to make springs of water rise. Alikuwa na uwezo wa kufanya chemichemi ya maji kachipuke. But he found it worthy. Lakini akafanya ikapata inasaidia to bring an answer down from heaven itself. Kulete majibu kutoka mbinguni mwenyewe. Praise the name of God. And he opened up the doors of heaven. Akafungua malango ya mbinguni and he brought manna for the children of Israel to eat. Akaachilia manna kwa wana wa Israeli wakule. Praise the name of God. But this manna was without a preservative. Lakini manna ilikuwa na kihifadhi special. Praise the name of God. Amen. This manna would rot if the preservative was not put into place. Hii manna ingeosa kama kile kihifadhi hakingewekwa ndani yake. Praise the name of God. And now some of the children of Israel, na wana wa Israeli wengine, wa 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 wa, wa wicked walikuwa wadhaifu wa hofu they, they were not listening hawakuwa nasikia they kept some manna for the next day wakajificha chakula yao ya manna kwa siku nyingine jamani tukuzo they are like the, the, the modern day christian walikuwa kama wakristo wa siku ya leo even though god has said hata kama mungu amesema that you bring all the tithes in the house of Ulete god uleta saka yote nyumbani ya mungu what will happen next month kila mwaka itafanyika mzee mwezi why don't i keep this money je kwa nini siweke hii pesa i eat next month ni kule kesho kesho Biashara inaweza kuwa iko mbaya. Eh, na njifadhia hii. Praise the name of God. Amina. And therefore they kept some manna for the next day. Wakachiwekea manna kwa siku hiyo ingine. But the manna got rotten. Lakini ile manna ikaoza. Anything that you preserve out of the dwelling can rot. Chochote ambao unahifadhi kando ya makao kinaoza. If it is your children that you are keeping away from the dwelling of God. Kama ni watoto wako unahifadhi kando na mapenzi yake mwenyewe. They have an expiry date. Wanaweza kuangamia. If it is your business that you are running out of the precepts of God. Kama ni biashara It might be doing well today. But it has an expiry date. Lakini itaweza kuharibika siku ya If it is your marriage that you have hidden away from God. Kama ni ndoa yako ambayo umeweka kando na makao ya Mungu. It has an expiry date. Ina siku ya kuharibika. Praise the name of God. If you are backsliding so that you can get the, get the things of the world. Kama unarudi nyuma ili uweze kupokea vitu vya dunia. You are getting things that have an expiry date. Unapata vitu ambavyo zinaharibika hapo. Praise the name of God. So whatever you need to preserve must be in the dwelling. Chochote ambao unahifadhi lazima kiwe katika makao. So God gives them manna. Mungu anawapa manna. Now the first miracle of preservation, mujiza wa kwanza wa kuhifadhi came from the word. Toka kwa neno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now God, Mungu did not tell them to add salt or honey. Akwambia waweke chumvi. 
Akwaambia uweke chumvi. Hallelujah. Because salt is a preservative. Maana chumvi ni kifaa cha kuhifadhi. He spoke a word. Alinena neno, alitamuka neno. He spoke a word. Alitamuka neno. And he said, akasema, when it comes to the sixth day, ikifika siku ya sita, collect a double portion. Ukweni mara ndufu. Hallelujah. And keep that double portion. Na muhifadhi hiyo mara ndufu. To eat on the day of the Sabbath. Mkule siku ya saba. Praise the name of God. Sabato. Because a word was spoken. Maana neno lilikuwa limeneno. The manner that was to rot. Ile maana ambayo ilikuwa yose. Because a word was spoken. Kwa sababu ya neno limeneno. The manna lasted a whole night and the whole day. Maana ikakaa usiku na siku. The next day when they woke up. Siku nyingine walipoamka. The manna that was rotting the other day ile maana ambayo ilikuwa naoza ovyo ovyo was purely fresh ilikuwa iko sawa because a word has been written or added to it maana neno imechanganywa ndani yake praise the name of god so there is a word that can be spoken upon your life unao neno ambayo inaweza kanenwa katika maisha yako that becomes a preservative for eternity ina kuhifadhi kwa milele and that word we know it na hiyo neno tunaijua because the bible says from the beginning was the word maana bila sema kwa dia mwanzo kulikuwa na neno and the word was god na neno and the word was with god and he became flesh praise the name of god so church i want to challenge you that for you to start the journey of preservation you need a word in your life you can dwell not dwell away from the word and that word is jesus praise the name of god so if you are here you are not born again stop struggling with preservation Praise the name of God. There is no way you can be saved. Praise the name of God. Stop trying to visit a lot of people to see whether you can live tomorrow. There is no seeing tomorrow. The night is coming. And the manna is going to rot. There is a word that needs to come into your life. That will make the manna see tomorrow. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you allowed this word? Are you dwelling in this one? So for the preservation for this miracle to happen it needed the word. And the word was God. And the word was Jesus. So the first miracle happens. That Jesus comes in and the manna lives for a night. Now something else happened. This manna Imana was to last for generations and generations. Because God wanted the descendants to have an evidence of what God had done from the beginning. Praise the name of God. So this manna had to be transported from the dwelling where it was. I am still talking about the dwelling. So this manna had been transported from their houses. It had been to be transported from the pots that they were preserving it in the house. It had to be transported from their cupboards. For it to be preserved for eternity, it had to be taken to another presence. Praise the name of God. It had to be taken to another presence. It left the presence of their kitchens. And they are sufurias. And it was taken to the presence of God. Praise the name of God. Because the Bible says that Moses was told to preserve some of the manna in the ark of the covenant that was signifying the presence of God among the Israelites. And when that manna was transported to the presence of God, something happened. That manna started living and living and living without an expiry. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And I was looking at this and I was wondering. Why did God have to make this 
miracle so 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 detailed kwa nini Mungu angefanya hizi miujiza iwe na mambo mengi because it has to bear evidence for us maana lazima iwe kama ushahidi kwetu it has to be a witness for jesus lazima iwe ni ushahidi wa yesu that there is a presence that you can go unto kuna uwepo ambao unaweza ingia ndani yake that can preserve you to eternity ambao unaweza kuhifadhi hadi milele and then i looked at the presence and i was wondering what is this presence nikaangalia uwepo nikasema je uwepo ni nini and i found jesus saying i am the way the truth and the life ambao unaweza kusema kwamba mimi ndiye kuja kweli na ukweli that nobody comes to the father hakuna yeye anayekuja kwa baba except through him bila and i realized he was the word that preserved and he became the presence hallelujah hallelujah he was the presence in the mana praise the name of god he was the presence in the ark of the covenant that when the word was sent to the mana when it was in the field the mana lasted for a night when the mana was taken to the presence the mana lasted for a night eternity praise the name of god there is a word that has been sent from heaven to heal your diseases because the bible says that you sent a word to heal your diseases but the healing of the diseases cannot save you lakini yesi kaokuokoa you must cultivate dwelling in the presence so that now you can be saved praise the name of god hallelujah, hallelujah. so jesus became the word yesu akafanyika kuwa neno and he became the presence akafanyika uwepo for the priest salvation of the man ni kwa ajili ya kuhifadhi ile mana now he went even further akaenda zaidi and he called mana the bread of heaven akaita mkate wa mbinguni he was the total miracle without jesus you have nothing bila yesu wewe ni mbure praise the name of god tamani tukuzwe because if you go to revelation chapter 2 verse 17 ukaenda ufunuo 2:17 he says to him that will overcome kwa yeye ambao ataweza kufa i will give him some of the hidden manna itampa hata manna iliyovichwa nitampea itampa praise the name of god Hallelujah. in heaven there is a hidden manna binguni kuna manna iliyovichwa that will be given to them that overcome itapewa wale ambao wataweza kushinda we are going to sit it and eat it tutae kukaa na kuikula and we will be asking moses wewe uliza musa was the one in the desert testing like yeah. Yes. because this one is sweet mana ine tamu because this one is itano hii ni ya milele praise the name of Jamali god tukuzwe. hallelujah hallelujah and i was asking myself how is this mana hidden in heaven je hii mana imeichwaje mbinguni now that presence came down uepo kanja chini and made her mana to last forever ukafanya mana ikae milele but now when you find the mana in heaven ukipata mana mbinguni it is the hidden mana ile mana iliyo vichwa you wonder which is this mana that is hidden in heaven je ni mana gani ambayo imevichwa mbinguni and the bible says bila nasema i am the bread of life mimi ndiye mkate wa uzima praise the name of god hallelujah hallelujah This manna is Jesus himself. Manna ni Yesu mwenyewe. The hidden manna is Jesus himself. Manna yenyewe iliyo vichwa ni Yesu mwenyewe. Manna get to heaven. Manna yakaenda mbinguni. Hallelujah. You know when he said to the disciples. Aliposema kwa wanafunzi wake that I will not eat this fruit of the vine. Sitakula matunda haya mti. Again with you. Pamoja na nyinyi. Until in heaven. Hadi mbinguni. He was talking about us sharing the hidden manna. Alikuwa anaongea juu ya Yesu kushiriki katika Praise the name of God. And when he was telling them you have to partake of my blood. Ni wale ambao lazima mjiri and of my flesh he was simply telling them that i am that bread that even in heaven you are going to eat utaenda kukula utaenda kuketi kumkula yesu kumega hallelujah it needed the presence ulihitaji uwepo and it needed the bread na ulihitaji mkate and jesus fulfills all those yesu anatimiliza zote he is the word he is the presence and he is the bread praise the name of god and when you have him you can become like the manna that is preserved for eternity praise the name of god there is no preservation out of the dwelling without jesus you are heading to a life of damnation praise the name of god so you have to believe in jesus and you have to to find your dwelling within him so that you can be preserved hallelujah so before you pray psalms 91 kabla hujaomba zaburi 91 ask yourself are you in the dwelling je uko katika uwepo are you in the dwelling uko katika maskani praise the name of god psalms 24 
verse 3 to 6. Oh, let's start from Psalms 15. Psalms 15. Zaburi 15. Verse 1 to 5. Zaburi 15. You can, or I can read. Give us Psalms 15, verse 1. Bwana, inani atakayeka katika yema yako. Inani atakayefanya masikani yake katika kilima chako kitakatifu. Keep going, keep going up to verse 5. Ni mtu aendaye kwa ukamilifu na kutenda haki. Asemaye kweli kwa moyo wake. Asie, asie singizia kwa ulimi wake. Wala haku mtenda mwenziwe mambaya. Wala haku msengenya njilani yake. Machosi haya ine pake mtu asie faa kutharauliwa. Mbali waeshimu wa mchao bwana. Ingawa meapa kwa asila, asala yake alie mbadili maneno yake haya tano akutoa fedha yake apate kula riba akutoa rushwa amwangamise asie na atia mtu atendaye mambo hayo ataondoshwa ata milele <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of god who can ascend je nani anaweza kupaa who can enter anaweza kaingia the holy mountain of the lord the characters are written there Ile pale. of the people who are actually dwelling in that place Wala nandumu pale. you don't need to go home asking whether you are dwelling you, you, you just need to look at the things that have been written there We angalia, angalia kwa zile vitu and it will tell you whether you are dwelling or not uko ndani ama uko inje. and the interesting thing verse 5 Ayatan. such people will stand firm forever Watu kama hao wataondoshwa milele forever milele preservation wataifadhiwa forever milele the secret of forever sili ya milele is in jesus iko ndani ya yesu praise the name of god now the bible says biblia inasema that them that have to ascend that hill wale ambao watapama pale they have to be holy lazima kwanza wao wenye aki they have to be blameless lazima wao awanaumiwi for them to get to that place kwa kuingia pale praise the name of god and you wonder how do we get there je unashangaa utaingiaje pale give me first peter chapter 1 verse 15 i think i will now quote quickly quickly because of time first peter chapter 1 verse 15 ita kwanza petro wa kwanza first peter you can write down first peter chapter 1 verse 15 Mwezo kandika chini. But now you must be holy in everything you do. Lazima uwe mtakatifu mwenye haki kwa kile chochote ambao unafanya. Just as God who chose you is holy. Kama vile Mungu aliyekuchagua eh ni mwenye haki. So you do not the key for you to ascend the mountain. Funguo la kukupaa katika mlima is to get him that makes you holy. Ni kumpata yule anayekufanya kuwa mtakatifu because the Bible says that he is holy. Praise the name of God. So it is true you might have lived a life that is not worthy to ascend the mountain. But that is not the end of you. Because he that is holy has made a way for you to be holy. The book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 5 The Bible says that he was found sinless. One of the characters of the ark, tabia moja ya ulimwengu, ark, the ark of the covenant, is that it was kept in a holy place. A place where sin could not go to. For you to get to that holy place, you needed some sanctification. Praise the name of God. And you needed to be forgiven. For you to reach to where the, the, the manna was kept. Praise the name of God. And today, the Bible says that he who sinned, who was found to have no sin, hallelujah, hallelujah, becomes the way. Because his blood was shed to cleanse us and to give us permission to ascend the mountain of the Lord. What can you do without Jesus? Even the salvation that we have 
Unapata uokovu ambao uko nao. What have we contributed in this salvation? Je, umetoa nini ili uweze kupata uokovu? He is the word. Kama ni yeye. He is the presence. Ndiye uwepo. He is the sinless. Ndiye ana dhambi. He is the bread. He ndiye mkate. He is the preservation. He ndiye kifaa. Praise the name of God. What else do you need apart from accepting Jesus? Je, unahitaji nini nyingine bila kumali Yesu? Praise the name of God. As who are born again? What can we be proud of? If everything that we enjoy has been given to us. Praise the name of God. Everything that you have my brother has been given to you. Hallelujah. There is a place where you can be preserved for eternity. Praise the name of God. There is a place in God. That is the mountain of the Lord. Where the ones that ascend and dwell. Psalms 91 will become real. Praise the name of God. The lions did not eat Daniel. Praise the name of God. The miracle of Daniel did not happen at the time he entered the den of the lion. The miracle of Daniel had happened from the beginning because he was in the dwelling. Praise the name of God. So Daniel did not pray not to be eaten by the lions. He did not have time to go for fasting to rebuke the lions and to shut their mouths. He realized he was walking in the presence and he had a purpose to declare the will of the Father. So the will of the Father for him was to pray for Israel. So when the time of prayer came, he would go he knew by the way the decree of the of the king he knew but when he went to the prayer, through the place of prayer he did not change his prayer request to kill the lions praise the name of God because he had power to declare that I declare and decree that those lions will be dead by the time we are getting there Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego did not start praying to put out the fire praise the name of God they did not make prayers that let it rain heavily. Oh no. Their prayer and their desire was that they may be found in the dwelling doing what God wanted them to be doing. Praise the name of God. Because they knew when they were in the dwelling they could walk into the fire with the dwelling and the fire would have to bow because even and the fire has an expiry date. They could walk into the den of the lions and the lions would not eat them because the lions had an expiry date. So they spent time doing what God wanted them to do. Praise the name of God. I pray that we may change our prayers today and ask the Lord that one thing I desire and one thing that I pray for that I may be found in his presence. Praise the name of God. It is not about the lions. It is not about the pestilence. It is not about a thousand falling. It is being found in his dwelling. If you are found in his dwelling, there will be preservation. God told Moses in Exodus 33 that there is a place near me where you will stand on a rock and as I am passing, I am going to cover you with my Hand, where you will be preserved. There is a place near God where you can stand on the rock. And the rock is Jesus Christ. Praise the name of God. And if you find yourself there, there will be preservation. Let us stand on our feet. Let the praise and worship come here. There is a place near God. There is a place near me. Where you can stand before God. Where you can stand before God. Praise the name of God. And there will be no destruction. As I was praying, I came to understand. That there are some there, there, there are some there, 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 there is a promise that we claim. That I am sure I will see the Lord in the land of the living. And I realize the land of the living. It is not this are that you are living so in. I, 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 
When you claim that promise, that I am still very sure that I will still see the Lord in the land of the living. This is not the land of the living. Man needs to depart from this earth and go to a place where the living are. Praise the name of God. If you read the word of God, it declares very well in Romans chapter 8 verse 21 that the creation is groaning waiting for the manifestation of the true sons of God to deliver the creation from the decay. So Paul is saying in the book of Romans that the world is in a state of decay. So this is not the land of the living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you are waiting to see the Lord in this land you need to move your possession from matters worldly and rise to the general assembly where the Bible says that you have come to the congregation of saints you have come to the congregation of angels and even of the Lord where the living gather so there is a place where the living gather praise the name of God there is a place where the living gather and that is where they see the Lord so when you declare that I know that I will see the Lord in the land of the living. Are you in the land of the living? Because the land of the living is found in God. The land of the living it is in his dwelling. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. May we be found in his presence. May we be found in his dwelling. Because if we are in his dwelling, there are things that my brother you will declare. And even before you declare, they are going to happen. Praise the name of God. People will put you in different situations. But as long as you are in the dwelling, the presence will speak for you. The preservation will speak for you. Hallelujah. They will plan for your destruction. But eternity will speak and say that I am not done with him. And therefore he is going to live. There are situations in your life that have been not going well. There are things that are dying in your life. And you have become discouraged. There are things that you have been praying for. And you have not seen the answer. I want us to put them before God and tell God I rise up to the mountain of God and I want to dwell here with you and I want you to preserve these things in the dwelling of the Lord. I want to preserve my health in the dwelling of God. I want to preserve my family in that dwelling. I want to preserve my finances in his presence because there there is preservation. There there is preservation. Praise the name of God. The word of God says, Throw your bread upon many waters. Because of what time it will come and back unto you. It is time to take your bread and throw it unto you. It is time to take your life and put it in the dwelling of the Father. Oh, and tell Jesus, preserve me. I want to dwell in thy presence. I want to dwell in thy presence. I want to stay near you, Lord. There is a place near God. There is a place near me where you can stand on the rock. If you find yourself there, you will be sustained. You will be preserved. You do not need to pray for your healing. If you are in his dwelling, you just need to claim the healing upon your life. You do not need to fear death. If you are in his presence, they are going to be preserved. Praise the name of God. You do not need to fear the economy. You do not need to listen to the reports of the enemy. Just, con just contend 
to get into his presence because in his presence there is preservation we give you glory Jesus we give you honor Jehovah Lord we honor thy holy name this afternoon thank you because of your word Lord we desire to dwell in the mountain of the Lord we desire to be found in you Jehovah God we desire to be found in you Jehovah God we desire to be found in you Jehovah God in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus oh yes challenges can come in life Changamoto za kuja battles can come in life yoni za kuja discouragements can come in life hata kuchua moyo endaje they can come into your life uchungu za kuja katika maisha yako reports can be brought into your life kuja katika maisha yako we are found in his dwelling there is going to be preservation utaweza kuhifadhiwa there things that we are going to claim unaweza kundai praise the name of god jambo litukuzwe there are things we are going to claim right now una vitu ambavyo tunadai sasa hivi because we are in his dwelling maana sisi tumefanya uwapo wake prayer we make maombi tunayefanya pray omba that god mungu if there be anything in my life kama kuna yake kitu maishani mwangu that is keeping me away from your dwelling ambacho kinanzuia kuingia katika maskani yako bwana iondoe take it away bwana iondoe sanctify me lord bwana ni asante sanctify me lord yuko katika jeshi lake you will send the mountain of the lord ambao unaweza kuingia katika maskani yako you send there ukiingia pale start claiming the promises aanza kudai start claiming preservation aanza kudai kuhifadhiwa start claiming restoration aanza kudai kuvuka because it is in his presence bwana iko katika wapo wake in the mighty name of our lord jesus In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Usinipite mwokozi. Unapozulu wengine. Naomba usinipite. Usinipite bwana. Usinipite Yesu. Usinipite bwana. Usinipite mwokozi. Usinipite mfano. Unapozulu wengine. Siku ya leo usinipite bwana. Naomba kupatikana mahali pako. Ndio bwana. Naomba kupatikana. Naomba nikapatikana. Mahali pako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Lord I desire bwana, to be found in thy dwelling. Nikapatikana. Because in thy dwelling there katika is uwepo wako kuna kuivaliwa bwana. There is preservation. Una kuivaliwa. Una kuivaliwa. There is life John 10:10. Unalia katika hiyo. The Bible says Bible nasema, that the, the thief comes to steal to kill and destroy. Mzi huja kuwa kangamiza na kuimba. But I have come. Lakini nimekuja. That you may have life. Ili ukawe na uzima. And have it in abundance. Ukawe na uzima tele tele. Praise the name of God. Baba nitukuze. There is life in the dwelling. Kuna uwepo wa hai katika uwepo. Are you there? Uko pale. Even pray. Kabla sijaomba. Are you there and you are not born again? Uko pale hujaokoka. There is no making this prayer. Hakuna kufanya katika maombi haya. If you are not born again. Kama hujaokolewa. If you are there and you are not born again. Uko pale hujaokoka. And you know you need to make your dwelling with the Lord. Unajua unasije kufanya mahifadhi yako ndani ya Bwana. Tafadhali Let's pray together. Come here. If you are there you are not born again. You are not born again. You know you are not in his dwelling. Please come here. Please come here. Please Is there anyone? Je, kuna mmoja? Before we get into this prayer. Of preservation. Ya kuhifadhiwa. If you are not born again. Kama unajua kwamba hujaokoka. Final call. Tafadhali mwito wa mwisho. Please come here. Tafadhali songea pele. Praise the name of God. Bwana nitukuzwe. Usinipite mwokozi. Please sing that song and think about the dwelling of the Lord. Don't look at the time. Just think about that dwelling. Just think about that preservation. Don't think about your neighbor. Just think about yourself. Just think about yourself.
Just go before God for a minute. Just cry for your heart that you may be found in his presence. That you may be found in his dwelling. That you may be hidden in him. That you may be preserved in him. There are many issues that are happening. The revival is on the way. But it is only for those who will be found hidden in him. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. The Bible says that I am the true vine. And you are the branches. You have to be found rooted in him. Because outside of him there is no bearing of fruits. Oh, I am praying this morning, Jehovah God, that I may be found hidden in thee. Jehovah God, when the challenges of this life come. Jehovah God, when the doubts, Jehovah Lord, plague my life. When pain comes, Jehovah God. When doubts come, Jehovah Lord, my way. When the enemy comes like a flood, Jehovah. You are the standard that is rising, rising my life. You are the standard, Jehovah God, that has been raised in my life, Jehovah God. That will help me so above my challenges. That will help me so above the pain. That will help me so above the battles. Jehovah God, I am praying this afternoon. May we be found rooted, Jehovah. May we be found hidden in you. Oh, Jehovah, come and reign, Lord. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. We need you, Jehovah, Father. We need your hand in our lives, Jehovah God. Jehovah, Lord, we need your presence in our lives. Speak a word, Jehovah, Lord. Lord, that we may live, Jehovah Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We worship you, Jehovah Lord. We worship you, Jehovah Lord. May we be found in you, Jehovah God. May we be found in you, Jehovah God. In these last days, Jehovah Lord, may our hearts be found in you, Jehovah Lord. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. In you there is preservation. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus We give you glory Lord We give you honor Because you reign in the presence of the Lord, there is preservation. In the presence of the Lord, there is restoration. In the presence of the Lord, there is healing. In the presence of the Lord, there is taking of territories. In the presence of the Lord, there is victory. There is no way out of the presence. We have to find ourselves in the, in the dwelling. That we may experience his promises. Are you there? And you want us to pray together. There are things there are things that when you look at your life you can clearly see that there is some place that the enemy has introduced decay. Decay is not something that should be found in the presence or in the dwelling of the Lord. Because in his dwelling there is full preservation. There is no way manna is going to decay in the ark. Praise the name of God. And you are there and you are praying. Lord, I need your restoration in this issue. Lord, I need your restoration in this issue. Lord, I want you to send a word in this situation. Lord, I want you to send your presence in this situation. That you can bring restoration and preservation. Salvation. If you are there, raise up your hand. If you are there, raise up your hand. You are saying, Lord, I am bringing this issue into your presence. You have spoken and have said that in your presence there is preservation. In your presence there is restoration. I am taking this issue and I am ascending with it to the mountain of the Lord. You 
are ascending with the issue to the mountain Una of the Lord. I want mwana. you to take that issue now in faith. And ascend with it to the presence of the Lord. And start claiming preservation. I want you if you have such an issue to come here. Kama una hali, kama in the name mele. of Jesus. I want you to take a step of faith. Please come here. Please come here. I want us to make a prayer of intercession. I said when I was beginning that there is a dimension of the helmet of salvation that is for vengeance. If you want to join this lady, come. If you want to join this lady, come here. If there is something you want to present before God and you are telling God in this situation I am declaring preservation. I am declaring preservation. I am bringing it to your presence and I am declaring preservation. Bring it to the Lord. Test of the Lord. See what God can do. Stand in faithfulness and you will see what God can do. There is preservation in the Father. There is no decay in the Lord. There is no decay in his presence. Bring it to the Father. Bring it to the Father. As we sing that song, there is power mighty in the blood. I want you to take your issues to the Father. I want you to take your issues to the Father. And for them that are seated there, I want us to claim this dimension of the helmet of salvation. That the Bible in Isaiah 59 verse 17, the Bible says that God put on himself the helmet of salvation. And he stepped out in vengeance and he started contending for his people I want us to join that dimension only for five minutes and declare that whatever is rotten in our lives that whatever has not been preserved in our lives we are declaring as we put it in the presence of the Lord that it is going to come back to life that there will be healing in Jesus there will be restoration in Jesus name. Name. That there will be life in Jesus that name. name that there will be revival in that Jesus name. name that there will be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus lead us into that song my brother let us declare the blood of Jesus let us declare the blood of Jesus I want the pastors who are here to just come and lay hands on these new ones and I want Pastor Mushiri to come here I want the pastors to just come and just lay their hands on these new ones in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus we need to contend we need to go into the battlefield and we need to start declaring things and declaring that we put them in the presence of the let the presence speak for them. Let the presence speak for them. Let healing come upon them. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Let deliverance come upon them. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Let the presence speak upon them. Let the presence speak upon the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we pray for you, there is a word that I need to pray uh, to read for every one of us. In the book of Psalms, chapter number 27, line 4, 5, and 6. The Bible says, One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. And to seek him in his temple for in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling he will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a lock then my heart will dwell exalted above the enemies who surround me at his tabernacle I will sacrifice with the shouts of joy I will sing and make music 
to the Lord. It is only in the presence of the Lord. It is only in his dwelling. We can find protection. We can find all that we are looking after. Because in the presence of the Lord. There is fullness of joy. In the presence of the Lord. There is good health. In the presence of the Lord. There is healing. In the presence of the Lord. There is the reward. How I pray that every one of us open his or her own mouth and tell God, Father, in your presence, I desire to be found. Many other days. We have found outside the presence of the Lord. And that is the reason why you have lived a defeated life. But anyone who has been found in the presence have found favor, have found refuge, have found guidance, have found protection, have found nurturing. And what Moses said. If your places will not work together with us, do not allow us to leave this place. Father, I am standing on this altar. I am calling upon your name. We accept that many other days we have lived outside your places, outside your dwelling. And that is the reason why we have lived a life of defeat, a life of death, a life of sickness. But today, Almighty Father, we are making a declaration that from today onward, we shall be found in your presence. We shall be found in your dwellings. Because in your dwelling, there is victory. In your dwellings, there is conquering. Father, I release your precious upon this sister. In your places, O oh Lord, may the desires of our heart be met in Jesus' name. Father, I release your power upon this sister, O oh Lord, in your presence, O oh God. There is the answer. There is the answer. There is the wiping of tears. There is the gratification of our desires. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I commit the sister in your evil hearts, O oh God. You have said it by your word that you are the blood of life. May you become the blood of life upon her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, may it be done according to our, to our desires and our expectation and to what your promises are. In the name of Jesus, Father, oh God, I commit this sister to you in your presence, upper Father. There is the fullness of joy. There is the answer. There is the victory. There is the breakthrough. And Father, I ask this sister to your presence, to your dwelling place, oh God, so that she may live to walk with all your victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I commend this sister to your evil hearts, oh God Almighty. May you meet the desires of her heart. May you fight her battles, oh God. May you cause her to walk with all victory of her Father and favor that come from her Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I commit my brother to your heart, oh Lord. Father, you know his desires. You know his expectation. Father, in your presence, I commit him to our God because it is in your presence he will receive his answers. It is in your presence, of our Father. He is going to make it. It is in your presence, our Savior. He will fight the blood of life. In the name of Jesus, I commit this sister to you. Father, I pray that your blessings, O oh God, may shoot her up, dear Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, may your blessings, O oh Lord, become my Father, O oh God. He is, he is dwelling, our dwelling place, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you meet with our desires. Desire, May you meet with our desires. May you fight up at us, King of our glory. And may you deliver our Father. 
from all powers of darkness. Yes, I speak freedom. Yes. I speak freedom. Yes. I speak freedom. Yes. I speak freedom. Yes, I speak freedom. Yes, I speak freedom. Yes. I speak freedom. Yes. I declare freedom. Yes, I declare Christ. freedom. In the name of freedom Jesus. now. Freedom in the name now. Of Jesus. Freedom in the name now of in Jesus. Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. I release power. Glory, Lord. I release power. I release power. In the name of Jesus. Father, your precious is everything, Lord. I therefore speak your precious upon the life of this sister. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release your precious. I release your precious. I release your precious. In the name of Jesus Christ. May it be done now. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. receive the power. Yes. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Ah, receive the power yes, Lord. that will help you to dwell in the presence of the Lord. That will come and become the answer of your prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, precious Father, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you this afternoon. And we bless your holy name, Lord. One thing that we desire. And one thing that we are seeking. That we may dwell in your presence. All the days of our lives. Because it is in your presence. In conformity to your obedient Father. We shall become what you want us to be. Father, hide us. Under the shadow of the Almighty in the sacred places of the Most High, where the enemy cannot find us, I make a declaration upon every person who is at my command that we shall dwell in your presence that we shall walk together with you Job that all our involvement all our doings shall be all about you in the name of Jesus Christ and therefore almighty God I speak spiritual covering I speak physical covering I speak weather covering upon all these people and wherever our voices are being heard may the word that has been spoken to us this afternoon be so fulfilled be done to because, because of your own glory in Jesus mighty name I do pray and give thanks Amen, Amen.